The BDN Sports Game of the Week is brought to you by Quirk Auto Group. It's your car. Find it at Quirk online at quirkauto.com. The next home experience. Let our experience better yours. Greenway Equipment Sales in Bangor and Ellsworth. Nothing runs like a deer. The BDN Sports Game of the Week is also brought to you by Tradewinds Market. Fuel up at your local Tradewinds where every gallon you buy helps local cancer care. Dean's Detailing, Maine's auto detailing leader since 1971. Digital Workshop, online at mainprovideo.com. And by Northeast Driving School, making a difference since 1969. And The Drive, your sports, your teams, your show. Weekdays, 4 to 6, on Sports Radio 92.9 The Ticket. The BDN Sports Game of the Week is a production of Sportsnet Maine. Welcome to Hamden Academy. They call it the stable tonight. It is the BDN Sports Game of the Week, and we are featuring the Bengal Rams up against the Hamden Academy Broncos. I'm Jim Churchill, joined on the broadcast tonight by Ernie Clark from the Bangor Daily News. Ernie, uh, these two teams meeting earlier in the season. Hamden with just one loss on their 2017-2018 campaign that came at the hands of Bangor in Bangor. Let's start with the Rams. Uh, what are they featuring here with two games left in the season? Well, two games left in the season. They're in fifth place in Class AA North. The top four teams in Class AA North host regional quarterfinals. So Bangor is trying to use victories tonight and Thursday against Ed Little to move into that fourth spot so that they can host a quarterfinal next week rather than have to travel south to Oxford Hills or Edward Little or Wyndham uh, for that game, which would make it obviously a lot more difficult. Matt Fleming, one of the top players in the state, uh, Bobango leading the way, the transfer from Oxford Hills, had just 10 points against uh, the Broncos in the first game. Corey Winch doing the defensive job there, but Damian Vance scored 30. Bangor hot from the outside early in the game. A lot of three-pointers, 17th of the game. They were able to pull off the 68-63 victory. Uh, so Bangor's looking to have another hot shooting night tonight in order to keep that uh, chance to host a playoff game alive. Meanwhile, the Broncos, that's their only loss on the season to the Rams. They're having another Hamden Bronco type season. Yeah, certainly so. Uh, number one in Class A North, and they are going to be number one in Class A North. They have this game tonight. This is senior night for the Broncos. And then it's off to second place for the Comus uh, on Thursday to close out the regular season. So a couple of good tests for the Broncos in terms of getting themselves ready for postseason play. But they're, they're talented, they're experienced, and they're very deep. And in terms of Class A, they are the team to beat right now. All right, we're going to have more on these two teams in this matchup between the Bangor Rams and the Hamlin Academy Broncos. That's coming up next on the pregame show. This is the BDN Sports Game of the Week. It's your picnic table and your park bench. It's your hotel room, your office, and your nursery. It's your first date and a shoulder to cry on. It's your barber shop, your dance floor, and your toolbox. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. What do you get when you combine pure diesel power with 1,600 pounds of raw iron and steel? Meet the 2R Series from John Deere. Up to 32 horsepower, four-wheel drive, cruise control, and a six-year powertrain warranty that's best in its class. This rugged workhorse won't make your breakfast, but with quick attach features, you can do pretty much anything else. Ride one today at your John Deere dealer. Visit Greenway Equipment in Bangor and Ellsworth, or find us online at greenwayequipment.com. We may not be the biggest, but we're definitely the best. Here at Tim's Plumbing, we know that when a plumbing issue pops up, you need it fixed. The master licensed technicians here at Tim's Plumbing specialize in installations, repiping, and service repair. We even do kitchen and bath remodeling. The master licensed technicians here at Tim's Plumbing specialize in installations, repiping, and service repair. You can call us at 735-4969 or 327-1620. At Tim's Plumbing, service is our specialty. I can't help falling, oh, falling in love with you tonight. I can't help giving sweet loving. I want to hold you tight. Welcome back to Hamden Academy and the BDN Sports Game of the Week. Tonight, the Bangor Rams taking on the Hamden Academy Broncos. Bangor in Class AA North, Hamden in Class A North. Let's... Uh, 
dig a little deeper here into uh, the Bangor Rams as we take a look at uh, some of their notes. Uh, head coach Carl Parker, uh, second stint as the Rams head coach. This is year number three, Ernie. And you can see right there giving up uh, 57 points per game, averaging about 60. Yeah, that's the way they play. Well, they, do, they play pretty up-tempo, but uh, you know, a lot of times it winds up being a half-court game with them and then trying to work the ball to Matt Fleming. Uh, but his versatility allows for Bangor to score in a lot of different ways. He's 6'5", but he's certainly a three-point shooting threat. He's a mid-range shooting threat and also can work the ball near the basket and offensive rebound. And you mentioned uh, Bangor with a 9-7 and seven record. Uh, really could be better or could be worse. A lot of close games so far this season. Six games decided by eight points or less, and they're three and three in those games. And uh, I'm sure they're probably wishing to have back a couple of those close ones that they lost, but are grateful for the ones that they've won. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, fifth place in Class AA North, the top four get to host regional quarterfinals next week. And you mentioned uh, Matt Fleming. I guess we can call him uh, a transfer from Oxford Hills uh, Regional High School, averaging 23 points per game. Yeah, 23 points a game on the season. Double figures and rebounds as well. I just mentioned his versatility out there, which makes him very tough to guard. Uh, he, he set the school record a couple of weeks ago with 45 points against Wyndham, an impressive feat because Wyndham is 12 and five on the season. And every team that plays Bangor knows the number one uh, job that they have on defense, much like Hamden knows that they've got to keep him in check tonight. And uh, as, as we mentioned earlier, just uh, 10 points uh, against Hamden in the first game. Uh, and despite that, Mango won. All right, let's turn our attention now to the home team here tonight, the Hamden Academy Broncos. Mentioned having a very Bronco-like season. 15-1, and one, Russ Bartlett, uh, 240 career wins. We talked about the last time we were here. Hard to believe he's in his 15th season. Yeah, it really is, but uh, 15 years, 240 wins. Do the math. That's 15, 16 wins a season. That gets you deep in the playoffs uh, every year. And this year, no exception uh, with a... Uh, 15-1 record coming into tonight. Just the one loss to Bangor on December the 27th. They're solidly in first place in Class A, and I think if you talk to anybody else in the league, they will tell you that Hamden is the team to beat. All right, and uh, one of the leaders on this uh, Bronco team, four-year starter, Ian McIntyre, 18 points, nine boards per game. Yeah, he's been Mr. Consistency from day one upon his arrival here at Hamden the last two years. He's taken on more of a leadership role, and he is a 20 and 10 guy, 18 and 9 guy, and uh, he'll be uh, using his inside game at Husson University come next year. All right, that's going to do it for the pregame show. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the opening tip. It's the Rams and the Broncos next on the BDN Sports Game of the Week. You deserve a clean car. Let Dean's take care of the details. Dean's Detailing has been Maine's auto detailing leader since 1971. Let the pros at Dean's renew your vehicle's appearance and protect your auto investment. For interior detailing, exterior detailing, and complete detailing packages, call Dean's at 945-3016 or book your appointment online at deansdetailing.com. And Dean's gift cards are the perfect fit for any special occasion. Dean's Detailing. We make used look like new. Choosing the right school for driver's ed has never been more important. Northeast Driving School has been the leader in driver training since 1969. Greater Bangor's number one team of instructors is experienced, professional, and dedicated to its students. Northeast offers a variety of weekday and weekend courses. Call 942-1769 or sign up at northeastdrivingschool.com. In 2011, we asked you to join us in the fight against cancer. For years, one penny from every gallon of gas purchased at Tradewinds has been donated to the local cancer fight. And as Tradewinds continues to open up more locations, more money goes to local cancer care. The next time you gas up, choose a Tradewinds store so you can help fight cancer. Together we have raised over $700,000. We would ask you to continue to join the fight because Tradewinds is pumped up to fight cancer. And we welcome you back to Hamden Academy as we get set for this ball game here tonight between the Bangor Rams, 9-7 and seven on the season in Class AA North, and the Hamden Academy Broncos here at the stable. They are 15-1, and one, but the only loss uh, this season for the Broncos to Bangor back on December 
27th. We're going to get to the uh, starting lineups here in just a moment. Uh, it is senior night here uh, for the uh, cheerleaders. They've already had their senior night for the players, I guess. That came last week, so they're okay. doing the cheerleaders tonight. Five seniors on the uh, varsity basketball roster for Hamden. Johnny Wolfington, Hunter Doherty, Tommy Ray, Ian McIntyre, and A.J. Todd. So solid nucleus of seniors, but uh, having said that, solid nucleus of guys coming back next year. Yeah, the seven uh, senior cheerleaders here tonight uh, being honored tonight at uh, Hamden Academy. Uh, Zoe Bishop, Paige Clifford, Aaron Davenport, Madison Elliott, Sadie Ivers, Grace Plasted, and Alexis Spaulding. So congratulations congratulations to those uh, young ladies. Just looking at the uh, standings, Ernie, here, uh, first in Class A, you mentioned Hamden in first place. They're going to be in first place. They have a, a wide margin there uh, between themselves and the Nokomis Warriors, a team that's uh, really come on like gangbusters, though. Yeah, four and five. What are they now? Eleven and five. So they've won seven in a row. Have a win against Bangor. Yep, have, has a win against Bangor, and they will host Hamden on Thursday night in the uh, – regular season finale, and that uh, should be an interesting test. Actually a pretty competitive game when they played over here, uh, I believe in January. Uh, Hamden wound up winning by 17, I believe, 83-66. But uh, uh, the Comas has some talented guards. Uh, Josh Schmestad and uh, Zach Hartsgrove in particular, a 1,000-point scorer, and they're capable of scoring pretty much against anybody. And for them to get 66 points in a game against a Hammond team that likes the whole team in the 40s, uh, it was a pretty impressive performance on their part, even though they didn't come out with a win. Some of the other teams in Class A, uh, Camden Hills at 10-6. and six. I believe they're playing Brewer tonight, and uh, Jeff Hart, uh, the legendary coach there, going for win number 500. Win number 500 and just announced as an uh, inductee yes. into the uh, main basketball hall of fame, uh, class of 2018, coming up in August. And uh, Skowhegan, we saw them earlier this year here in Hamden against uh, the Broncos. And they're 9-7, and seven, currently in fourth place. But uh, they've got some athletes and some, some toughness on that team. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they, and they've played, uh, <laughs> they've played uh, Hamden about as well safe in the Comas as anybody in the league. They've kind of slumped a little bit lately there. They've had a few losses late in the season. But uh, has, has the experience from... Uh, Posting a first-round upset as the number eight seed a year ago, knocked off top-ranked Madomic Valley in the quarterfinals, and uh, so they have some tournament experience that uh, if they can kind of get themselves righted here in the last couple of games of the regular season, could be a threat to go deep in the uh, class double, uh, class single A uh, tournament. I meant to uh, calculate the, the point differential for the Broncos. Uh, don't know if my calculator could quite handle it. They have. Had a couple of games where they've almost reached the uh, century mark this year, Ernie, back against the Camden Hills in uh, early December, mid-December. They scored 99, and in their most recent game here at home against Mount Blue, they tallied 98. Yeah, they certainly have offensive weapons, and the good thing about it from the Hamden perspective is it may not necessarily be the same player every night, but there's enough depth there so that Typically, they're going to get two or three guys that are in uh, mid to high double figures. All right, we're getting the uh, starting lineups now. First for the Bangor Rams at guard, Damian Vance. You mentioned he had uh, 30 points in that win against Hamden earlier this year. Also in the starting lineup for Coach Carl Parker, it is Matt Fleming. Joining Fleming and Vance on the floor, Henry Westrich. He's just a sophomore. Fleming a junior, Vance a junior, so some talent coming back next year. Jason Smith, another junior for Coach Parker. And then finally, rounding out the uh, starting lineup, another junior, Noah Misbrenner. And now for the Broncos of Hamden Academy, Johnny Wolfington in the starting lineup for Coach Bartlett, along with uh, Corey Winch, who did a nice job defensively on Matt Fleming in that previous Matchup, Bryce Lozier, just a sophomore. Tommy Ray, a senior. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Broncos, Ian McIntyre, again, averaging 18 points and nine rebounds on the season. Another senior for Coach Bartlett. Now it's time for the national anthem to be played here at Hamden Academy. For the seat for our national anthem, I need to get the students 
Alexander Bazzini, Nicholas Parker, and Nathan Manter. students sing the anthem here. job, Ernie. They've got me beat. I know that. That was a very I have the bar set just a little bit higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are just about set to get this ball game underway. Looking forward to it. Hamden looking for a little revenge. Bangor looking for a bunch of points and looking to take two from the Broncos here in this basketball season. Matt Fleming jumping for Bangor, Ian McIntyre for the Broncos, and McIntyre wins the tap. Johnny Wolfington gets it to Lozier, goes between the legs a couple of times. Now Lozier the screen. Lozier gets it back right side, and the shot's gonna be short, and the rebound picked up by Damian Vance. Vance with 30 points against this Hamden team in that matchup back on December 27th. Russ Bartlett in year number 15. Carl Parker, second stint as the Bangor coach in year number three here in round number two. <coughs> Bangor working the ball around the perimeter. Now they look inside for Fleming. He's double teamed, ball taken away. Fleming gets it back, and the layup won't go down. Rebound to McIntyre for the Broncos. Look what I found moment for Matt Fleming, but couldn't finish it off after some good defense by Hamden. Both these teams known for their half-court man-to-man. Here's the left-handed shot put up, and that's no good by Winch, and Vance with his second rebound. Fleming out deep. Vance trying to slice through that Hamden defense. He's going to give it off to Miss Brenner, who misses the shot. Offensive rebound by Fleming. He's got two. Yeah, Fleming works all over the court in the half-court offense, but uh, first two possessions has been near the basket. That time uh, able to cash in with an offensive rebound. Wolfington drives the baseline, then feeds McIntyre in the middle of the lane. Easy two there for the big guy, and we are tied at two here in the early part of this one. Westrich picks up his dribble. He's guarded by Wolfington, and now the pass goes into the Bronco bench. That'll be a turnover for Bangor. The Bangor collapses their man-to-man -man defense in toward the lane, which takes away some of those passing lanes. Lossier on the left side to Tommy Ray. Now Lossier gets it back, fires and hits. Three ball there from Bryce Lossier, the sophomore, and it's 5-2 Hamden. Yeah, he's probably their best three-point shooter. Interesting defensive matchup on that end between Lozier and Westrich, uh, former junior high teammates in Glenburg. Missed there by Jason Smith. Rebound down to Ray, Tommy Ray. Gets it back from Lossier. Ray left wing. McIntyre along the baseline, cut off there by Fleming, spin, shot up, off, no good, tipped by McIntyre, and we're going to get a foul. It's going to be McIntyre on the back there of Miss Brenner, and it will be Bangor basketball. It's an interesting matchup there, two All-State players doing their thing in different ways. Fleming much more of a quickness, finesse type player at this point of his career, and Obviously, McIntyre, one of the stronger players in the uh, state. You saw him use his strength to get to the basket, but couldn't finish and then went over the back for his first foul. 
Thanks for joining us tonight for the BDN Sports Game of the Week. A miss there by Vance from the left elbow. One and done for Bangor. Here comes Winch to the free throw line. Loses control there, goes down to one knee, and Bangor comes away with the basketball. Vance. Slicing down the right side of the lane. Nice touch there off glass for two points. Yeah, had the disadvantage height-wise against Logier, but uh, used his shoulder to create a little bit of space and get to the rim. Driving the lane, Wolfington. Bounce pass. McIntyre caught underneath the hoop, but a nice spin job there by McIntyre. Got him back in good position. He uses glass, and he picks up his second bucket of the ball game. Yeah, four-year starter. Very crafty around the basket. Here's a steal by Hamden. Winch the steal, and now Vance trying to slap it away. will pick up the personal. With a sloppy pass there by Bangor along the wing. Easy steal for Winch, and... He took it in expecting contact, and sure enough, there it was. First foul on Damian Vance of Bangor. Corey Winch, the junior, at the free throw line. Dips, fires, and that one rims out. Bangor currently in fifth in Class AA North. Nine and seven for the Rams. Only 13 points behind Wyndham in the standings. If you look at the three teams above Bangor, and they're just two points apart, so a couple of the point-worthy wins here could uh, really move Bangor up the standings. Yeah, we got Hampton tonight and Edward Little on Thursday, a miss by Smith. Second time he's fired one up from that spot, unable to get it to go. And once again, Hampton controlling the defensive glass. Wolfington lost the basketball, gets it back, finds Tommy Ray, takes it to the right block. Now the Broncos work it around the perimeter. Winch wants a three, and he's got it. A little unorthodox looking, more of a set shot than a jump shot by Winch, but uh, when he gets going, he can put up a lot of points in a hurry. Had 18 points in the earlier meeting with Bangor uh, over at Redberry Gym. Now Fleming from long range. That is short, right into the hands of Lozier. Up ahead, Winch, left open, long three. Nothing but net. And a timeout call by Bangor. Carl Parker wants to talk things over. He wants to slow down Hamden here. Broncos off to a quick start. It's 13 to 4. There's Winch from each side of the court, pulling up for those three pointers. And what had been a close game through the first four minutes suddenly opened up. And Hamden with a nine-point lead, getting that second basket in transition. Hamden will look to run off the defensive boards, and they really have controlled the board so far. They're out rebounding Bangor at this point, seven to four, and they've converted a couple of those defensive boards into instant offense, and Winch with six quick points for Russ Bowen's club. Two teams back on the court. Bangor with the basketball out of the timeouts. 3.35 left to go here in the first quarter. Nine point advantage for Hamden. Smith out top. Goes to Vance. You watch McIntyre guarding Jason Smith and McIntyre staying right in the middle of the lane, not moving out. Vance's three is good. So out of the timeout, Bangor needing some points and then they get a three right there from Damian Vance. Once again, Corey Winch uh, working very hard defending Matt Fleming, but back at the Hamden end of the floor, Tommy Ray answers. Boy, hey, Bango's going to have trouble staying in this game if Hamden is this hot from the perimeter. Winch picking up Fleming. Now Fleming loses the ball, and it's going to be taken away by Wolfington. Up ahead to Winch. Winch gets it back from Tommy Ray. Wolfington. Between the circles, goes inside. McIntyre again spinning, and the jump hook no good. Rebound down to Matt Fleming. Here's a long three by Damian Vance. That one's in and out. Rising high winch for the rebound. Rossier in at the front court. Wolfington on the right wing, gets a screen there from McIntyre. Now left corner, winch left open. High arching shot, and he's got three more. Bangor leaving some Broncos open here, and Hampton taking advantage. Bangor was 10 for 15 from three-point land in the first meeting of this season. 
Hamden five of seven from three so far tonight. And uh, two pointer at the Bangor end of the floor. Nice shot there by Henry Westrich. That was a three. It was a three. Okay. Now it's Wolfington using the left hand. Can't get it to go. Long pass down court. It's going to be laid in. Westrich again. Nice pass there down court by Matt Fleming. Yeah, that's a kind of a set option for Bangor when Westrich sees that Fleming is going to get the rebound. He will leak out early, and that time was able to get the uncontested layup. Ray for three. No good from the left corner. Rebound down to Damian Vance. At least his third rebound here in this first quarter, and we got a charge here against Vance. Nice job there by Wolfington getting back and getting set. And that's two fouls on Damian Vance early in this game, and Bangor not the deepest team in the world. It's likely that Carl Parker will stay with Vance as long as he can. Now the sophomore Mikey Ray into the ball game for Hamden. OCA checking out for the Broncos. Here's a drive by Wolfington and a blocking foul. Looks like it's going to go against Jason Smith. Kind of watch Bangor's defense on that play. Kind of all heading just a little bit farther out on the court, having to respect the three-point uh, potential of Hamden, and that allows quick guards like Johnny Wolfington pass to the basket. Wolfington at the free throw line, and Hamden now 0 for 3 at the strike. Need to step back beyond the arc, I think, try that one. Tad too close. Second one is up, and that one is good. So Wolfington one for two at the line. The Bangor lead is eight. Approaching the final minute here in this first quarter. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark with you from Hamden Academy. Here's Smith. He's going to try a two-pointer. That's off the back of the iron. No good. Fight for the rebound. And coming out of the pack there is Mikey Ray. Winch holds it high. Goes to Tommy Ray out top. Now back door goes Winch, and cutting him off at the pass there was Matt Fleming. Nice job. Quick reaction there by Fleming, and he draws the charge. Pretty good sales job there, too, by Fleming. Uh, contact, it was there, to be sure, and uh, Fleming made sure the official noticed it, and uh, uh, Winch, excuse me, picked up his first foul. Some pretty good actors in the game of basketball at every level these days. Here's Fleming spinning and putting up the shot. It's good. Slicing through the Hamden defense there was Matt Fleming. Uses the glass and gets his team to within six. McIntyre's a defensive matchup there as a help defender and couldn't get there quick enough before Fleming had his motor going toward the basket. We're down to 10 seconds. Broncos going for the final shot here in this first quarter. And it's going to be Ray, high arching shot. He's got it. Oh, my goodness. Hamden on fire here in this first quarter. Shot from half court. Off the uh, mark there by Bangor. Yeah, that is, again, dribble penetration by Wolfington. Look how deep uh, Ray was on that shot. Splash. He was almost out of bounds. Uh, he was so deep on that left wing, but nothing but net. His second three-pointer of the uh, quarter. Hamden with six threes in the game's first eight minutes. 23-14 after the first eight minutes. We'll take a timeout. This is the BDN Sports Game of the Week. It's your Monday morning. And your Friday night. It's your suitcase. Your tour guide. And your photo booth. It's your new beginning. And your fresh start. It's your library. Your hotspot. And your movie theater. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. Back in Hamden, thanks for joining us tonight for the BDN Sports Game of the Week. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, the entire Sportsnet main crew here at the stable. 23-14, our score after one, and Matt Fleming can't get the three to go. Mikey Ray, his second rebound since coming into the ball game for the Broncos. Johnny Wolfington takes it to the left wing. Corey Winch shot the ball well here in the early part of this one. He's also defended quite well against the talented Matt Fleming. Here's Ray, left baseline. 
Goes in the right corner to Wolfington. Tries to get around Vance, bounces it towards McIntyre, but it's going to be picked off by Fleming. Winch almost got it back, but Vance emanates from the pack. Damian Vance, left corner. That was Westrich. Now inside, it's Smith. Kick out to Westrich. Tries to work the left baseline, but cut off at the pass there by McIntyre. Now he finds Miss Brenner. Miss Brenner to the lane. Scoop shot up, and it rolls off. No good. Ripped out of there by McIntyre. Outlet to Wolfington. Up ahead, Mikey Ray. 12-footer, no good. Long rebound. It's going to go off the fingertips of Tommy Ray. And it will be Bangor basketball. Good crowd here tonight at Hamden Academy. No surprise there. Got a big vote in uh, the town of Hamden. Is it and just I guess Newburgh and uh, Winterport? Winterport as well. Here's a nice move there by Fleming, but he can't finish. Used the left hand. It rolled off. Bryce Lossier with the rebound. Now a zip pass inside for McIntyre. A little too hard there from Tommy Ray. McIntyre couldn't handle it. Bangor with it now in their half-court offense. Fleming still being guarded by Corey Winch, making life difficult for number 10 in Maroon here tonight. We've got a foul coming here against the Broncos. And Mikey Ray, I believe, with the body. Good block up top by Ian McIntyre, but that foul occurred before the shot was actually taken in the act of shooting, but Vance hadn't let go of the ball yet. Vance hits the first free throw. The BDN Sports Game of the Week brought to you by Quirk Auto Group. It's your car. Find it at Quirk online at quirkauto.com. Second free throw is good as well. And that makes it a 23-16 ball game. Let's see, he thought about uh, going to Mikey Ray. Now he does. Here's McIntyre squaring up to Fleming. Can't get the jumper to go down. And the rebound down to Matt Fleming. He gets it back from Miss Brenner. Now Vance squares up against Mikey Ray. Crossover dribble, finds some space, and he misses. But the tip in will go for Matt Fleming. Fleming was fending off uh, McIntyre or somebody there. Went up with the right hand, Ernie, and got it to go. Yeah, I think it was Ray uh, Winch that he was fending off because McIntyre was playing that one-man zone, but uh, weak side rebound gives Bangor a, kind of an easy bucket. Suddenly, it's just a five-point ball game. I think the biggest lead for Hamden was 12. That shot is blocked. McIntyre, though, stays with it. Gets it back, ends up on his back. Now Tommy Ray for three, and it's no good, but a foul. And that's going to put Tommy Ray at the line for three free throws. Yeah, great hustle there by Ian McIntyre to give Hamden that second opportunity. Here's the uh, Bangor play at the other end. Three-point attempt by Vance. Uh, Karam's off to the uh, weak side, and the 6-5 Fleming goes over a defender to one-hand that ball in. Big hoop inside for, for Bangor. Of course, Matt Fleming's uh, brother plays for the University of Maine in his sophomore season with the Black Bears. Ray missed the first one. He gets the second one. One more coming for the senior. Yeah. Hamden's largest lead, 19 to 7. Middle of the uh, first quarter while they were hitting all those three pointers. Tommy Ray goes two for three at the line. He will check out of the ball game. A couple of Rays uh, departing. Wolfington in, also uh, Ross Webb, Jr. into the ball game for Coach Bartlett. Inside they go to Smith, jump hook, and what do we got here? Travel, Travel violation against Jason Smith. But that's the kind of move uh, for the addition of a dribble that Jason Smith really needs to do to get inside. Don't worry about the long jump shots. Try to make. McIntyre work on the defensive end. McIntyre backing in. Shot is blocked by Fleming. Kick out goes to Wolfington, and he hits. For the Broncos staying with it at the offensive end. Nice block there by Fleming. But Wolfington got it back. Now a miss there by Vance, and the rebound down to Corey Winch. Winch picked up by Westrich. Now it's Webb, right corner. He's guarded by Jason Smith. 
Winch goes behind the back, tries to find some space on that baseline, deals one in the paint to McIntyre, who can't get the left-handed shot to go. Here come the Rams, surging up the right side of the floor. It is Fleming, finds his teammate Smith. Now it's Westrich, who can't hit the jumper from the left corner. And a timeout called here by Coach Russ Bartlett in year number 15 with the Broncos. The BDN Sports Game of the Week brought to you by Greenway Equipment Sales. For the best in John Deere sales and service, it's Greenway Equipment. They have locations in Bangor and Ellsworth. You can visit them at greenwayequipment.com. Like them on Facebook. Greenway Equipment, nothing runs like a deer. Well, left on the uh, Bangor Ram schedule is get another Greenway Equipment uh, replay here. As McIntyre, who had his sh shot blocked right. by Fleming, regained possession, kicked it out to Wolfington. That's a uh, that's an all-senior three-pointer by the Broncos, who were six of nine from deep in the first quarter, and now seven for ten mm. from three-point land here in the uh, in the first 12 minutes of play, and that's uh, that's your lead right there, pretty much at 28 to 18 is all the three pointers. Three quarters of the Broncos' points coming from long range. You mentioned Bangor will play their final game of the season at home, regular season, I should say, on Thursday as they host Edward Little, another point worthy team. Edward Little currently third in class AA North. What do we got here, Ernie? They had three second call. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Bangor being in fifth place. Uh, Oxford Hills is second, Edward Little third, Wyndham fourth, separated those three by just two heel points, mm. and Oxford Hills has won six in a row. Edward Little's won seven of eight, and Wyndham's won four out of their last five. So all three hot teams have been moving up, while Bangor's kind of been a win one, lose one situation here during the second half of the season. Nice fall away jumper there by Damian Vance from just outside the free throw line. Makes it an eight-point ball game once again. Ross Webb picks up his dribble, finds Lossier on the near side. Wolfington spinning along the baseline. Again, they go to McIntyre in the middle of the paint. The shot is off. No good. Rebound down to Fleming. I think McIntyre senses Fleming's presence there. Doesn't come across too many shot blockers during the season, but Fleming is one of those players that can uh, challenge his shots. Three no good there by Luke Caruso, but the offensive rebound, and now it's going to be given right back to Hampton. Here's Wolfington plowing his way towards the rim. We've got a collision here. Damian Vance hitting the deck, and the foul is going to be against Hampton. That was a big call there because that goes against Vance. That's number three, but instead right. Wolfington picks up his first foul. Hamden's final game on Thursday as well at McComas, as Ernie mentioned earlier. He has won seven in a row coming into tonight's action. Plumbing between the circles, goes to Vance. Vance looking for a screen. Westrich open, his shot no good. Long rebound into the corner. Nice job there by Miss Brenner tracking it down to Caruso. Here's Vance, a little stutter step there against Lossier. To see how the Hamden defense has collapsed with the ball on the right side of the court. Everybody was at no farther away than in the lane so that they could handle some help defense if Bangor got penetration. Westridge left elbow, shot no good, tipped by Fleming, won't go. And the rebound to Winch for the Broncos. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the second quarter. Stay tuned for the next Home Experience Halftime Reports. We'll have some highlights, stats. Take a closer look at these two schools. Damian Vance quickly up the floor, takes the jumper and hits. And the Broncos' lead is down to six. 11 points for Vance. Half of Bangor's total, keeping them in the game. McIntyre fakes the pass. Takes it across the lane, hands it off to Wolfington. He's left open near the free throw line. And Johnny Wolfington picks up two. Yeah, the three-pointers aren't coming as easily for Hammond now as Bangor has adjusted defensively. So it's up to uh, the Broncos to make those mid-range shots. Luke Caruso left open. And he drains a three. So 
Lob pass inside from McIntyre. Has Fleming on his back. Lost control of the basketball. Gets it back. Little scoop shot. McIntyre very strong there, using the body to protect the basketball that time and getting two points. Caruso tries another three. It won't go. Under a minute to go left here in this first half. McIntyre went up for the shot and came down again. I think you're right, Ernie. He was uh, hearing uh, some footsteps here tonight. Yeah, some tall footsteps. And then Henry Westridge with the help there. So there were actually two players kind of contesting that shot. And uh, I don't know that McIntyre realized that either one of those players were there until it was too late. Fleming spinning. He's going to travel with the basketball. He felt there was going to be a little more contact there after he made the spin. There was nothing. Lost his balance a little bit. Threw up the shot. Six turnovers apiece now. Let's see if Hamden will go for the final shot here with 35 seconds on the clock. Here's they are spreading the floor. McIntyre. Left down low, Wolfington in the left corner, holding the basketball near midcourt. It's Tommy Ray, down to 15 seconds. Broncos put it in motion. Now some pressure from Bangor near midcourt. OCA thought about the three, deals it to Wolfington, shot from the left elbow, partially blocked, and it's going to be picked out of the air by McIntyre, and he'll be fouled on the pass. No one and one, however, with 5.2 seconds left as uh, just five team fouls against Bangor and four on Hamden Academy. Nice Lozier will trigger it from the end line. 5.2 on the clock. Comes in to Winch. They're looking for Lozier. Gets it back. He fires. It's no good. Rebound by Tommy Ray. Tried to flip a shot. A no-look shot there up and over the backboard, but uh, not close. And the buzzer sounds. That'll do it for the first half here at Hamden Academy. Our score at the end of 16, 32-25. Coming up next, it is the Next Home Experience Halftime Report, whether buying or selling real estate. But our experience, better yours, is at nexthomeexperience.com. Stay tuned. This is the BDN Sports Game of the Week. I can't help falling, oh, falling in love with you tonight. I can't help giving sweet loving. I want to hold you tight. In 2011, we asked you to join us in the fight against cancer. For years, one penny from every gallon of gas purchased at Tradewinds has been donated to the local cancer fight. And as Tradewinds continues to open up more locations, more money goes to local cancer care. The next time you gas up, choose a Tradewinds store so you can help fight cancer. Together we have raised over $700,000. We would ask you to continue to join the fight because Tradewinds is pumped up to fight cancer. If time is infinite, why is there never enough of it? A John Deere One Family Tractor with Quick Park lets you attach and go. iMatch Quick Hitch gives you more time for what you love. So it takes less work to do more work. Auto Connect Drive Over Mower Deck, done. They're not making any more land, but there's plenty of time if you know where to look. Visit Greenway Equipment in Bangor and Ellsworth or find us online at greenwayequipment.com. We may not be the biggest, but we're definitely the best. Here at Tim's Plumbing, we know that when a plumbing issue pops up, you need it fixed. The master licensed technicians here at Tim's Plumbing specialize in installations, repiping, and service repair. We even do kitchen and bath remodeling. The master licensed technicians here at Tim's Plumbing specialize in installations, repiping, and service repair. You can call us at 735-4969 or 327-1620. At Tim's Plumbing, service is our specialty. Welcome back to the Halftime Report. It's brought to you by the Next Home Experience. 32-25 our score. Hampton with the lead. Broncos 15-1 and in Class A North coming into this one. The Bangor Rams 9-7 and in Class AA North heading into this matchup here tonight. Bangor, of course, defeated the Hampton Academy Broncos, handing them their only loss of the season back on December 27th. All right, let's get to uh, some first-half highlights here, Ernie. 
Johnny Wolfington with the basketball there, finding a teammate in the corner. Yeah, a lot of early kickouts for the Broncos, that time to Corey Winch for one of his three three-pointers in the first quarter. Here comes Bangor the other way. Now Matt Fleming weaving his way through the defense over a couple of defenders, through a couple of defenders. Tough shot from the lane. And here's Wolfington again. This time to Tommy Ray. Again, penetrate, kick out, and Ray nearly standing out of bounds over there on the left wing. Knocks down another three. That is Vance, Vance with the, the uh, three, but the weak side rebound by Fleming. Six points and eight rebounds for Fleming so far in this game. Here comes Sabango on a fast break with Damian Vance working his way up the right side of the court. He's going to pull up and say, I've got this one. Curls that three-pointer in for three of his uh, game uh, team high, 11 points. Damian Vance leading scorer, as Ernie mentioned, for the Bangor Rams here in this first half. All right, we'll take another break here in the next Home Experience Halftime Reports. When we come back, we'll talk Bangor High School and Hamden Academy here on the BDM Sports Game of the Week. I can't help falling, oh, falling in love with you tonight. I can't help giving sweet love. I want to hold you tight. You deserve a clean car. Let Dean's take care of the details. Dean's Detailing has been Maine's auto detailing leader since 1971. Let the pros at Dean's renew your vehicle's appearance and protect your auto investment. For interior detailing, exterior detailing, and complete detailing packages, call Dean's at 945-3016 or book your appointment online at deansdetailing.com. And Dean's gift cards are the perfect fit for any special occasion. Dean's Detailing. We make used look like new. Choosing the right school for driver's ed has never been more important. Northeast Driving School has been the leader in driver training since 1969. Greater Bangor's number one team of instructors is experienced, professional, and dedicated to its students. Northeast offers a variety of weekday and weekend courses. Call 942-1769 or sign up at northeastdrivingschool.com. It's your Monday morning, and your Friday night. It's your suitcase, your tour guide, and your photo booth. It's your new beginning, and your fresh start. It's your library, your hotspot, and your movie theater. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. If time is infinite, why is there never enough of it? A John Deere One Family Tractor with Quick Park lets you attach and go. iMatch Quick Hitch gives you more time for what you love. So it takes less work to do more work. Auto Connect Drive Over Mower Deck, done. They're not making any more land, but there's plenty of time if you know where to look. Visit Greenway Equipment in Bangor and Ellsworth or find us online at greenwayequipment.com. We are back here at Hamden Academy, the next home experience halftime report. Jim Church along with Ernie Clark, the entire Sportsnet main crew. Thanks for joining us for the BDN Sports Game of the Week as we are in the final week of the regular season. A uh, storm coming in tomorrow. We'll see how it affects uh, the remaining games on the regular season schedule. Of course, a prelim action next week, and uh, I guess that is the start of the tournament, but uh, the start of the real tournament, in my mind, gets underway on Friday. Except in Class AA, where That's true. the That's true. first games that are, I believe, in that Tuesday-Wednesday bracket right. are quarterfinals. So that's the difference that they've changed up now, where the, in the top four teams in the Class AA, North and South, get to host the quarterfinals, as opposed to those games having been in Augusta or Paul in the last couple of years. A little bit of a concession to uh, to Bangor and the more northern schools to have at least one opportunity to play uh, somewhere north of Portland. All right, let's uh, take a look at these two schools, Bangor High School and Hamden Academy. The principal at Bangor High School, Paul Butler, of course, a longtime AD, Steve Van Ennestein. Enrollment approximately 1,200 students at Bangor High School, down a little bit. Uh, 
notable alumni, John Baldacci, a former uh, member of the House of Representatives, of course, the governor of the state of Maine, William S. Cohen, a senator from the state of Maine, and also a secretary of defense as well under President Clinton, and Matt Kinney went on to play some Major League Baseball earning. And now is the head baseball coach at Herman High School. Uh, yeah, I had a long career, actually, nine years in the uh, major leagues, and uh, I think about a 14-year career all the way around. Bangor High School established in 1835, and now the uh, school song being played by the Hampton Academy Band. Let's take a look at the Hampton Academy, their principal, C. William Tracy, Fred Lauer, the uh, new AD here at Hampton Academy, uh, some ties to Bangor for uh, Fred. The enrollment uh, here at uh, Hamden, of course, it's, uh, Hamden Academy serving the towns of Hamden, Newburgh, Winterport, and Frankfort. And we mentioned the big vote on uh, some new field turf for the facility uh, uh, just uh, across the way here. Yeah, exactly. That's something we really didn't talk about before that much. But uh, big vote tonight, the, uh, the field turf at the Weatherby Complex. Uh, I believe 13, 14, 15 years old now. Uh, certainly has surpassed uh, its lifespan. They're in need of new turf and uh, uh, going through the process with the actual vote today for $800,000 local bond that would uh, fund the turf and uh, some other improvements to that complex, which has been home not only to the Hamden Academy Broncos sports teams, but to a lot of uh, state and regional championship events. Still 24 minutes to vote. Uh, notable alumni at uh, Hamden Academy, uh, Mike Bordick, of course, a long Major League Baseball career start at the University of Maine as well, and Stephen King was a teacher here at Hamden Academy, which was established in 1803. Now back to the basketball here at the stable. Bangor with it, Luke Caruso getting the start here in the second half for Coach Parker. Had a three in the first half. Damian Vance, 11 points in half number one. Little up and under move there, and he's got it. Damian Vance with 30 against the Broncos back in December. Now up to 13. Nice move to start the second half for Bangor. Should mention that Vance now playing with three fouls. He was yeah. the one that picked up that foul. Uh, with 5.2 seconds left in the first half. So he has to be a little bit careful uh, in terms of his driving to the basket, particularly not to pick up that fourth. Johnny Wolfington misses the jumper from the left side. Rebounds to Fleming. Vance up the middle of the floor, crosses it over. It goes to Caruso. He's open, and he's got another three. Luke Caruso coming off the Bangor bench. Nailing his second three for the Rams. And suddenly, Ernie, this is just a two-point ball game, and Bangor almost... Came up with the basketball there, but a foul will go against Miss Brenner against Tommy Ray. Well, that's what Bangor's been looking for all season, that fifth scorer. They've had a solid four, but here's Luke Caruso showing some long range, uh, range, if you will, uh, knocking down his second three-pointer in just a few minutes. And Hamden goes inside to McIntyre. Can't get the shot to go again. It is Westrich. Leaving early, left open. He's got two, and we are tied here in Hamden. Yeah, again, we've talked about that before. That's a couple of times now that Westridge has leaked out, uh, seeing Fleming getting that defensive rebound and getting some uh, quick points. Corey Winch responds with two. Nice job there, working that right baseline using the left hand. Hamden back up by two. Here's Miss Brenner. The fake goes underneath Ray and hits. A couple of times, this Hamden defense, a little over-anxious, a little over-aggressive. Bengal nice four for four from the field here early on in the third quarter. Now McIntyre, they need to get him going. Do the Broncos, his shot is blocked. Left-handed shot won't go, sticking with it. Third shot won't go. He's going to end up at the free throw line, though. He is a horse underneath there for the Bronx. Yeah, he's just uh, up and out. There's uh, Miss Brenner fakes around Ray, I believe, and yep. moves to the left elbow at the free throw line, 15 feet away, knocks down just his first basket of the evening. And McIntyre missing at the free throw line, so we are still tied at 34. Second free throw by Ian is good. So one for two at the line, Broncos back on top, and we got a timeout here at Hamden Academy. Coach Russ Bartlett talking with his troops across the way. Kyle Parker, good start for his team here in the second half. 
The BDN Sports Game of the Week brought to you by Tradewinds Markets. Fuel up at your local Tradewinds where every gallon you buy helps local cancer care. McIntyre just 3 for 12 from the field so far in the game, having a lot of difficulty down low against uh, Fleming. Unable to get up quite as high as Fleming. Has the strength advantage to get in position, but just hasn't been able to go straight up as he normally is able to, although he's got a lot of crafty little moves there that is getting him offensive rebounds and second and third chances. Bangor with the basketball, a chance to uh, take the lead. He had a lead at 2-0, uh, I believe, Ernie. But uh, the Broncos have led pretty much uh, since uh, that point. Here's Lossier hitting a jumper. Nice pull-up jumper right there. You don't see that pull-up jump shot a lot, Ernie. No, that's kind of the, that mid-range game is a lost art. I mentioned Zach Hartsgrove in Tacomas. That's something he does very well. Matt Fleming starting to warm up. He drains a three. And we are tied again. 37 all. Pass inside to McIntyre. Fires it out beyond the arc. The miss there by Wolfington. Offensive rebound, McIntyre. Finds Winch in the right corner. He's going to travel. That thing started a little too quick there. Didn't get the basketball to the floor. And the turnover for Hamden. Yeah, there's Fleming. Nice stroke from deep there. His uh, first three-pointer of the game. Bangor, chance to take the lead. Try by Caruso, no good. Goes up and over the backboard. So and it's going to be Hamden ball. But Caruso's presence changes Hamden's defense. They can't sag in quite as much because Bangor now with another outside shooter along with Westrich and Vance when he's not dribble penetrating that uh, Hamden has to account for. And when Caruso first came into the ball game, Hamden's defense was laying off him, but he hit that three, and ever since then, they've had to come out and challenge him. Miss here by Hamden. Here's Westrich spinning, firing out top to Caruso. Now it's Damian Vance, Cooley taking it to the right wing, firing it into the left corner. Now Caruso's going to try another three, tees it up. It's off the back of the iron, no good. Good check out there by Mikey Ray. Outlet goes to Wolfington, gets it back to Mikey Ray. Now it's Tommy Ray to the free throw line. Right wing and a three from Wolfington. Good patience there by Hamden, good ball movement, finding the open man. Yeah, have a little reversal with the pass there from one side of the court to the other, and there was Wolfington wide open. Left corner, Westrich tries to get things tied up once again, can't do it. Offensive rebound by Fleming. Caught underneath the basket, double team. Gets the ball to Westrich on the far side. Now Miss Brenner gets a screen from Fleming. Takes it down the right side of the lane. Misses the shot. Rebound to Wolfington. Here come the Broncos. They've got a three-point lead. Three and a half left to go here in the third. Ray right to the lane and a whistle. And a foul is going to go against, is it Miss Brenner? Yes, it was. His second uh of the game and here's Tommy Ray kicking the ball over reversing it from the right side to the left to Wolfington knocks down his second three pointer of the night pass comes in to Winch Wolfington tracks down the loose basketball right corner Ray nice cut there by Mikey Ray the feed to McIntyre and he lays it up and in with the left hand Boy, that's hustle by Mikey Ray, who circled all the way around the court, wound up taking the pass from the perimeter, and then seeing McIntyre open underneath for the layup. Fleming for three. That's off no good. Fleming stays with it, hustles down, looking for the offensive rebound, but it's going to go off his hand across the end line. It'll be Hamden basketball. Yeah, there's uh, Mikey Ray cutting after circling around. Kind of lost control there, but saw... McIntyre as uh, Ray drew the defense to him. McIntyre wide open. Wolfington guarded by Vance, who's got three fouls. Now Wolfington gets it back from Mikey Ray, and he'll hit the three. Great ball movement recently in the last few possessions by the Broncos. And there's Mikey Ray right in the middle of it again as uh, Fleming gets his own miss, which at home. 45-39.
Hampton has gained a little space on the scoreboard here, trying to add to their six-point lead. Shot partially blocked there. Wolfington gets it back from Mikey Ray, tees it up, and he'll get the friendly roll here at the stable. Again, Wolfington with the basket. Mikey Ray with a hustle play on the offensive boards after the block. Oh, what was a tie game moments ago. Now an eight-point hand in lead. There's Mikey Ray double team passing across the lane to Wolfington. That's a tough pass. Yeah. But uh, kept it inbounds, and Wolfington gets the, uh, the kind roll of the rim, and uh, suddenly Hamden blows this back out to an eight-point lead. Hamden fans are rising to their feet. Appreciating the effort of uh, their team here. Let's push the lead back out to eight points. 47-39. Again, the three-pointers at work with Wolfington with three here in the third quarter, accounting for nine of Hamden's last 11 points. All right, out of the timeout, Bangor with it. As we approach the two-minute mark here in quarter number three, a screen there from Smith for Vance. Now Vance to Fleming. Fleming down the right side, guarded by McIntyre. Great body control there by Matt Fleming. Almost like a zone there by Hamden. Mikey Ray covering McIntyre on the perimeter, and then uh, once McIntyre, uh, excuse me, Fleming makes the drive, then there's the uh, pickup by McIntyre as Lozier counters with another three-pointer for Hamden. Nice Lossier now Fleming a long three and that's going to be wide of the mark. Picked up by Wolfington. Broncos a nine-point lead. They're on the run. Picking up his dribble winch. Kicks it out to Lossier. Lossier nice pass to a wide open Mikey Ray. His three no good. And hustling there is Winch but he can't get to it in time. It'll be Bangor basketball. Got some very interesting news here, if it is uh, true. Josh McDaniels has spurned the Indianapolis Colts. He's going to stay with the Patriots. What he, does that mean? Is Bill Belichick he's done? Pull, he's pulling a Belichick, isn't he? Fleming follows in his own miss. Remember Belichick uh, didn't want to be the HC of the NYJ? Wow. Seven point lead for Hamden. Lossier can't get the three ball to go down. Rebound to Fleming. He's been cleaning up on the glass here tonight. Nice hustle play there by Corey Winch. Hustling up the middle of the floor and knocking the ball across the end line. Yeah, Preventing an open shot there for Bangor. Miss Brenner uh, saw Vance ahead of the field along the uh, right baseline, but the, the tip pass knocks it out of bounds. Easy. Uh, and a bounce play there by Bangor. One pass to Fleming just inside the arc. He comes up with two, and Bangor trails by five. Now the Broncos looking for the final shot here in the third quarter. Fleming with Bangor's last 11 points. Broncos spreading the floor. We're down to 15 seconds. Now eight seconds, Wolfington gets things in motion down the right side of the lane, shot is up and it's gonna be blocked, goes out of bounds, it will be off Bangor, so an opportunity here for Hamden with 2.4 seconds on the clock. And a nice pass inside to Winch from Mikey Ray. Winch lays it in at the buzzer. And a foul against Bangor. Corey Winch will be at the line trying to make it a three-point play. That's a heck of an inbounds play right there. See the pass. Mikey Ray to the cutting Winch. Foul and push from behind as he makes the layup. That foul, I believe, is on Westrich. And that's going to send Winch to the line. Chance to uh, close out this period with a three-point play. And he does. How about the assist work of Mikey Ray? He has had some outstanding passes here in recent moments. All right, that's going to do it for quarter number three. Broncos a strong latter part of that quarter. They lead it by eight here on the BDN Sports Game of the Week. It's your Monday morning. And your Friday night. It's your suitcase. Your tour guide. And your photo booth. It's your new beginning and your fresh start. It's your library, your hotspot, 
and your movie theater. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. If time is infinite, why is there never enough of it? A John Deere One Family Tractor with Quick Park lets you attach and go. iMatch Quick Hitch gives you more time for what you love. So it takes less work to do more work. Auto Connect Drive Over Mower Deck, done. They're not making any more land, but there's plenty of time if you know where to look. Visit Greenway Equipment in Bangor and Ellsworth or find us online at greenwayequipment.com. Welcome back to Hamden Academy, BDN Sports Game of the Week. Jim Churchill along with Ernie Clark from the Bangor Daily News. Thanks for joining us on this chilly Tuesday night. Very warm inside, though. Big crowd and a block there by Fleming, but that's going to be goaltending as the pass went down low to Ian McIntyre. Threw it up towards the backboard, and Fleming came flying in, and they're going to say that ball was on its way down, Ernie. Well, it was off the backboard as well. That's goaltending on Fleming, and suddenly a 10-point lead for the Broncos. Bangor took the lead in that third quarter, went back and forth for several minutes before the Broncos really got it together down the stretch. Here's Missbrenner, right corner. That's off the iron, no good. Coming away with the rebound is Corey Winch. He's double teamed in backcourt. It's going to be picked up by Losia, and now Missbrenner's going to reach in and pick up the personal foul. Pretty good pressure there in backcourt by Bangor, Miss Brenner, and Westrich. Yeah, you can kind of see that coming, especially after uh, Winch fought off Miss Brenner to get that rebound. I don't think Miss Brenner was going to be satisfied until he made something happen. Unfortunately for him, it was a foul, and it's number four on him. Again, Bangor, not the deepest team in the world, so he's got to be careful now, too, with seven minutes and 15 seconds left. Yeah, Bangor's played basically, what, six players here tonight. Mikey yeah. Ray, left side of the lane, picks up his dribble, looking for a teammate. Finds Winch. Winch behind the back, goes to Ray. Ray slings it inside to McIntyre. Now back out to Winch. He's guarded by Westrich. Deals it to McIntyre. Reverse layup. He's got two. That time McIntyre used the rim to shield off Fleming after the dribble penetration by Corey Winch set that up. Now a collision down to the floor goes Mikey Ray and left open is Matt Fleming. Yeah, Fleming's really feeling it right now as Bangor has full court pressure on. And a steal by Bangor. Vance came up with it. And he got it to Fleming who laid it in with the left hand. Now an eight point deficit for Bangor. Ball kicked out of bounds by Fleming. Yeah, here's some good hustle here by both sides actually, but there's Vance. Ah, borderline travel there as he's spun around while he's on the floor, but saw Fleming ahead for the uh, turnover and layup. Now a loose ball on the near sideline. It's going to be off Hamden. And Bangor are surprising the Broncos a little bit here with some full court pressure. You mentioned how few bang, uh, few players Bangor uses, but uh, you know this is how you try to catch up in this situation where Bangor needs those heel points. They're looking to try to get a home game in the playoffs and. A win over Hamden would go a long way toward doing that. So here comes the press for the last six minutes. Fleming tries another three, and he's got another one. Matt Fleming only had 10 points against Hamden the first time around, but here tonight has really come to life, especially after that first quarter. And it's now a five-point lead for the Broncos. Yeah, he scored 18 of Bangor's last 18 points. Actually, there's a... Deep three showing his range, and he's just kind of taking this game over from an offensive perspective for the Rams and uh, keeping them in the contest with Hampton still holding a five-point lead. But uh, right now the task for the Broncos is to try to get the ball past half court. If they get past half court, they might wind up with some layups. But right now, Bangor's full court defensive pressure causing the Broncos some problems. BDN Sports Game of the Week brought to you by Dean's Detailing. They've been Maine's auto detailing leader since 1971. Renew your vehicle's appearance. Protect your auto investment. Enjoy the ride. Call 945-3016 or book your appointment online at deansdetailing.com. 551 left to go in the ball game. Hampton up by five. Lossier ahead of the pack. Gets it back to Mikey Ray who lays it in. But there you go. You get the ball past half court. You've got a three-on-one break. 
Here's a three put up by Westrix. That's no good. A couple of players uh, fight for that rebound. It's going to go off Hamden. Tell you what, Mikey Ray did not start this game for the Broncos, and his numbers may not bowl you over, but uh, his motor has been very high here tonight, Ernie, and he's had a big impact in this one for in, the Broncos. In the second half, he's taking the seat right now, but that was his first basket of the game, but he's done so much more in terms of uh, you know, assists and just uh, all-around hustle and just being an absolute nuisance to the Bangor Rams. Rams with it, Vance pull up jumper, he's got it. Damian Vance from 10 feet. Been playing with those uh, three fouls and now we got a foul here on Fleming. Pressure coming from Bangor, Fleming knocking uh, Wolfingen down to the floor. Here's Vance, that mid-range game we talk about so much with him and there's a, another 15 footer is now Hey, uh, Bangor picked up its seventh team foul. Hamden yet to foul here in the second half, so Hamden will be shooting free throws the rest of the way here, and we'll see what happens. Sometimes that's good for a team, and sometimes that's not so good, depending on whether the free throws are falling. And Wolfington gets the front end, so he'll get one more. Second one, also good. Seven point lead for Hamden. Five minutes left to go. Inside they go to Smith through the Rams. He's guarded by McIntyre. In the corner to Westrich, now it's Vance. Vance drives, scoop shot, and he's gonna draw the foul. Good job there by Damian Vance taking the hit. Drawing the contact, that's the first foul on Hamden here in the second half. Yeah, that time uh, Vance, as you mentioned, took it right at Ian McIntyre and got McIntyre moving. Once he got him moving and created contact, the foul was going to go on the defense, and now Vance trying to cash in from the free throw line. First free throw good, second one up, and that is also good for Damian Vance. So he picks up two more at the free throw line. Five point lead for Hamden, double team in the corner there. Wolfington trying to escape, finally finds Lozier. Lozier up ahead to Winch. Broncos get it into the front court. Here's McIntyre off glass for two. Yeah, again, good recognition that they had numbers once Lozier got the ball on the left side of the backcourt. Now Damian Vance once again attacking the basket. Off balance shot there, but another foul against the Broncos. Yeah, there's Logier as Hamden reversed the ball in the backcourt, passed it head to Winch, a one-time pass to McIntyre. No Fleming around, so McIntyre had his way going to the basket. Gotta like the one-timers, Ernie. Oh, absolutely. They just speed the game up so much, and when you've got the advantage in that uh, sort of situation where you're breaking the press, uh, it'll lead to layups. Vance money at the line once again. Four and a half, ball comes into McIntyre. The big guy's gonna bring it into the front court. On the right to Wolfington. Contorts his body to get a shot off there, but it's no good, and the rebound down to Misbrenner. Up ahead, Westrich, he'll try a three, and he hits! Good job there by Bangor, getting the ball up the floor, catch and release there, one dribble by Misbrenner. Gets the three, and now Tommy Ray will lay one in. Bangor applying that pressure once the Broncos get through that front line. They have the advantage. Vance can't hit the three. Ripping down the rebound is McIntyre with that right hand. Yeah, that defensive pressure is kind of all or nothing for Bangor. It's either a steal and a high percentage shot on their end or it's a layup for the, uh, for the Broncos. McIntyre directing traffic from the low block there. Wanted the ball to get back out top. Here is Winch drawing the defense. Bounce pass McIntyre, reverse layup once again. McIntyre using that reverse layup. Picks up two more points. He's come to life at the offensive end. Yeah, he's figured out that rim is his friend. Fall away jumper, Matt Fleming. There's no defense for that around here. That shot he's always gonna have, I mean Fleming, and he's uh, red hot here. 
in the second half. Broncos with it in the half court. They lead by four. Wolfington being hounded by Westrich. In the corner goes to Tommy Ray. Picks up his dribble on the left baseline. Ball knocked out of bounds off Bangor. Luke Caruso back into the ball game. Fleming got his hand in there. They're going to need Bangor, going to need Caruso's offense here in the late stages. Hamden doesn't have to be in a hurry at this point. The uh, full court press kind of sped them up. Rosier, McIntyre, or pardon me, Ray in the corner. The miss now by Wolfington. The offensive rebound by McIntyre. Losier's three, no good. Flying in there for the board, though. Johnny Wolfington came out of nowhere. Good Winch there. slings it to McIntyre. Another reverse layup by the big guy. Yeah, just great uh, hustle by the Broncos to get extra shots. And Damian Vance is going to be at the line again. A foul against Wolfington, a tad late there. And the block against Wolfington. Here's Winch on that last play. Whips that left-handed pass across the lane, and uh, McIntyre says, the heck with it, I'm just using the rim. I'm going reverse the rest of the night. And he's... Uh, Four for four here in the fourth quarter doing just that. 2.12 left, but the clock has stopped. Damian Vance at the line. Carl Parker talking with they were late official. To, so late to put that last basket right. up by Vance. Finally up on the board, so it's a four-point lead for Hamden. A miss there by Vance. 69-65. And Bangor pushing the Broncos away from the basket with an aggressive defense there in the half court. You have to credit Bangor here again, kind of Iron Man, just using six players, and uh, they're coming at it defensively. Wolfington, left block, bounce pass out to Winch. Winch, guarded by Westrich, takes it to the lane, uses the left hand, goes off glass for two points. Again, a little unorthodox, flipped it back, kind of a reverse layup, but flipped it back with his inside hand, his favorite hand being his left. Three here from Caruso, no good, and Garcia is going to lose the basketball, but it's going to be off Bangor. Here's the drive by Winch. Again, flipped it back with his inside hand, left hand, and good result. Pressure by Bangor, Wolfington in a pickle there, but left wide open at the other end. Two Hamden Broncos, Winch gets the pass from Tommy Ray and add two more to the Bronco total. They lead it by eight. Yeah, just not enough stops with the press by Bangor, but they're doing everything they can to try to force the issue. Vance corner, Westrich three, no good. And Winch with the rebound. And now the Broncos will try to salt it away here with 108 up on the clock. They lead it by eight. And a foul here is going to put Corey Winch at the line. Here's a trap that was Wolfington trapped in the corner. He got in the head oh. to uh, got in the head to McIntyre. The pass was tipped to Ray, but uh, gained control and fed. Uh, I believe that was Winch for the uh, layup as Hamden beats the press once again. But pretty good screen on that play by uh, <laughs> by a fan. Screen of the night <laughs> brought to you by. <laughs> Corey Winch hits the free throw. Suddenly our screen went purple. <laughs> well, that would be a Hamden fan then. That'd be a Hamden screen. Two for two from Corey Winch. Of course, he got the Broncos going in the uh, first part of this ball game here tonight with his work from beyond the arc. Hits two big free throws there, and Hamden leads it by 10. Yeah, pretty balanced offense for the uh, Broncos, just counting up here. 19 for Winch, 17 for Wolfington, 17 for Ian McIntyre to lead the way. Bangor getting a big a second half out of Matt Fleming. 18 in the second half, 24 for the game. Damian Vance with 21, and Westrich with 
12. So the big three for Bangor with uh, 57 points, but not quite enough here so far as the Broncos with the eight point lead. BDN Sports Game of the Week brought to you by Digital Workshop. They specialize in video production, including weddings, events, sports, videos for business, and the web. Visit mainprovideo.com. Back to the action, and Damian Vance can't get the jumper from the free throw line to go. Long rebound, tracked down in the left corner by Westrich. Here's Fleming trying to split the defense, loses control of the basketball, had it knocked away there by the Broncos. And now 45 seconds left. Hampton with a 10-point lead as they look for win number 16 on the season. Their loss to Bangor came on the December 27th. Which game was that? That was game number six. So that made them five and one, and so they've won 10 in a row. This would be win number 11 in a row for Russ Bowers Club. Man, boy, you are just showing off here tonight. What a contrast from last year when this team was virtually intact, but they were new and young. They get off to a 10-0 start, which kind of surprised a lot of people, but then went 4-4 four and four in the second half of the season, wound up losing in the uh, quarterfinals of the playoffs, and that's been the motivation for this year. Traveling violation there by Matt Fleming, so Hamden basketball. Well, Bangor certainly uh, made a charge right out of the locker room. Yeah. And was tied for much of the third quarter. Here's Lossier ahead of the pack. He'll lay it up and in. A foul against Bangor. Bryce Lossier running the floor well there for the Broncos. And, oh. Going to be a travel, travel call before the contact there. Wondered about that. Well, I said he was, was running. No, he was running. There was no <laughs> dribble involved and uh, took an extra step. Well, the Rams trying to conserve some time there. Vance finally picks it up in the corner. Westrich hits the three. That'll make it 77 to 68. The time running out on the Rams, but they do force a turnover there. You mentioned the three ties in the uh, third quarter. Final score of this game going to be a little deceptive because at a certain point, Bangor had to uh, forsake the half-court man-to-man and uh, go with the high-risk Full court pressure. Westridge from the corner again. Three no good. McIntyre the rebound. 14.7 on the clock. And Ian McIntyre making the walk down the floor. As he'll be at the free throw line. BDN Sports Game of the Week also brought to you by Northeast Driving School. They've been Maine's leader in driver education since 1969. Greater Bangor's number one is Northeast Driving School. Register for courses now at northeastdrivingschool.com. McIntyre at the line. What's his total now, Ernesto? Uh, McIntyre has 17, eight here in the fourth quarter. But that will be foul number five on Damian Vance, who fouls out with 21 on the night for the Rams. In this game between the Bangor Rams and the Hamden Academy Broncos will be available on demand at driveshowmain.com. Just go to the Sportsnet main page, look for the SNME logo, and you can uh, catch the action beginning on Friday. McIntyre. A couple of free throws at the line. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I wanted to say something, but I'm just not, <laughs> not going to. I didn't think I was doing that badly to be strangled. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to strangle me, do it before the last 10 seconds of the game. Just getting a little rambunctious here in the broadcast position, high above courtside here at the stable. Fleming's free throw goes down. We're going to look at the uh, matchups for the uh, prelims earning. We may have a game for basketball fans out there next week. We'll know that answer either Friday or given the weather forecast for tomorrow, perhaps Saturday. They may use may have to use Friday as an extra day to get in. Big storm postponed in games. Big storm tomorrow, full slate of games on Thursday. And then the question one of the questions is whether there are, are enough officials to handle both the regularly scheduled games on Thursday and the uh, and any makeup games there are. 
Johnny Wolfington at the free throw line hits the first. Five for five here in the fourth quarter. Second one off, no good. Rebound down to Smith, up to Fleming. Fleming inside the arc, spins in the lane, has the ball knocked away, picked up by Tommy Ray, and a foul against the Rams. Will extend things here tonight at Hamden Academy. Catch the drive weekdays from 4 to 6 on Sports Radio 92.9 The Ticket. The drive, your sports, your teams, your show. And I'm sure on the drive tomorrow there will be plenty of Josh McDaniels and Patriots talk with uh, the reports tonight that uh, McDaniels, who was announced today as the Indianapolis Colts' next head coach, press conference scheduled for tomorrow, but... Uh, According to reports, he has spurned the Colts. He's going to stay with the Patriots. Final two seconds. Fleming a three, and it is good. Count the hoop, and the final score will be the Hampton Academy Broncos 80, the Bangor Rams 73. So the Broncos 98 points in their most recent game against Mount Blue. High-powered offense here tonight, Ernie as they net 80 more and picking up their 16th win of the season. 16 and one are the Broncos, the Rams fall to nine and eight. Yeah, Hamden prides itself on his defense, but it is capable of scoring a lot of points as we alluded to earlier with some of those high scoring games. And uh, tonight uh, was a defensive game of sorts for quite a while. I mean, you get back to, uh, you know, early second half and the game is still in the 30s. So there's a lot of points scored late uh, fourth quarter. You'll take a look here and see what the score was at the end of the third quarter. Hamden scored 27 points in the fourth quarter wow. against that full court pressure. Once they beat the pressure uh, that Bangor put on in the full court, they were able to get a lot of easy, easy baskets. All right, we'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the post game reports. We'll have stats, highlights, and much more. This is the BDN Sports Game of the Week. It's your picnic table <laughs> and your park bench. It's your hotel room, your office and your nursery. It's your first date and a shoulder to cry on. It's your barber shop, your dance floor, and your toolbox. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. What do you get when you combine pure diesel power with 1,600 pounds of raw iron and steel? Meet the 2R Series from John Deere. Up to 32 horsepower, four-wheel drive, cruise control, and a six-year powertrain warranty that's best in its class. This rugged workhorse won't make your breakfast, but with quick attach features, you can do pretty much anything else. Ride one today at your John Deere dealer. Visit Greenway Equipment in Bangor and Ellsworth, or find us online at greenwayequipment.com. In 2011, we asked you to join us in the fight against cancer. For years, one penny from every gallon of gas purchased at Tradewinds has been donated to the local cancer fight. And as Tradewinds continues to open up more locations, more money goes to local cancer care. The next time you gas up, choose a Tradewinds store so you can help fight cancer. Together we have raised over $700,000. We would ask you to continue to join the fight because Tradewinds is pumped up to fight cancer. I can't help falling, oh falling, in love with you tonight. I can't help giving sweet loving, I want to hold you tight. Welcome back to Hamden Academy, BDN Sports Game of the Week tonight, featuring the Bangor Rams and the Hamden Academy Broncos. Jim Church along with Ernie Clark and the Sportsnet main crew. Happy to have you with us here for some high school basketball as the regular season is winding down. Next to the last game for both teams here tonight, and the Broncos secure the 80-73 victory over the Bangor Rams. Let's get to uh, some highlights. Uh, at the half, it was 32-25 Hamden, uh, Ernie, but the Rams came out firing at the beginning of the second half. Yeah, Fleming, Matt Fleming had just six points at intermission, but... Uh, Luke Caruso with that three, the and, first uh, three there. It was Caruso as I'm trying to tally up some stats here and as Westridge on the baseline that's his spot either baseline as Bangor is uh, tying the game up there's Fleming from deep with a three-pointer and 
he got on a roll there mid third quarter and uh, Hamden could do little to stop him. Here's Mikey Ray circling around, taking the pass and feeding Ian McIntyre for a layup. That was that uh, late third quarter when Mikey Ray really got involved. Uh, wasn't doing the scoring, but he was doing a lot of the other stuff to set up scoring. We There's, saw a few of those. Yeah, a few of those reverse layups by uh, McIntyre as he used the rim as his friend after being harassed a little bit early in the game by Fleming defensively. And there's Corey Winch with a pass to McIntyre for another reverse layup. And uh, now again, Hamden 27 points in the fourth quarter. And uh, you know, they're a team a lot of times that holds teams to, thir to 40s, right. uh, into the 40s or even into the upper 30s. So you know, they got going against that full court pressure of Bangor. And Bangor did get a few steals to uh, create some opportunities, but, but not enough to uh, cut into the lead once Hamden got going. So Bangor wins on their home court. Of course, they are in Class AA North as uh, their postseason will get underway uh, next week. And uh, the Broncos in Class A North, they'll be the number one seed heading into tourney 2018. All right, we're going to get some uh, stats here from Ernie in just a second. Do want to remind you this ball game here tonight between Bangor and Hamden will be available uh, come Friday at driveshowmain.com. That's driveshowmain.com. Just go to the Sportsnet main page, look for the SNME logo, and uh, you'll see all of our uh, high school broadcasts uh, from this past season, some high school football. We did eight games there. Uh, this is our sixth high school basketball game of the season. Uh, we lost one last week uh, as uh, Herman was traveling to MDI, had that game uh, postponed due to a snowstorm. And uh, again, we'll be looking ahead to uh, some prelim matchups, uh, and we may have another game for you here on the BDN Sports Game of the Week. How you doing there, Ernie? Oh, I'm getting there. I've got two, uh, two extra points for uh, Bangor, and I haven't been able to figure out where they came from. So <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just go with what we have uh, for the moment here. Very unofficial uh, final scoring, but for the Hamden Academy Broncos, uh, 20 apiece for Johnny Wolfington and. Ian McIntyre, fitting, it's senior night. Yep. They led the way with uh, 20 apiece, 19 for Corey Winch, 11 for Tommy Ray, 6 for Bryce Lozier, and 2 for Mikey Ray for a total of 80 for the Bangor Rams. Unofficially, Matt Fleming with uh, 29, I checked that, 31. 21 for Damian Vance, 15 for Henry Westrich, Luke Caruso with a couple of three pointers for six, and Norm Misbrenner with a basket for two. All right, well, I want to thank our entire crew here tonight. Of course, uh, Kim Mitchell from Digital Workshop directing the show here tonight from Hamden Academy. On replays, uh, Mark Paulette. Uh, Mark also uh, keeping track of the Patriot News as well as he is wearing out his thumbs here off to my left. On cameras here tonight, Hunter Tracy manning the uh, main camera. And down on the floor, Jay Baines and Aaron Jackson. Thanks to our entire crew here tonight. Great job, and of course I cannot forget about my broadcast partner, Ernie Clark. Ernie, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always right. a pleasure. Hope to see you next week. I'm Jim Churchill saying so long from Hamden. The final score once again, the Broncos 80, the Rams 73. This has been the BDN Sports Game of the Week. Game of the Week is brought to you by Quirk Auto Group. It's your car. Find it at Quirk online at quirkauto.com. The next home experience, let our experience better yours. Greenway Equipment Sales in Bangor and Ellsworth, nothing runs like a deer. The BDN Sports Game of the Week is also brought to you by Tradewinds Markets. Fuel up at your local Tradewinds where every gallon you buy helps local cancer care. Dean's Detailing, Maine's auto detailing leader since 1971. Digital Workshop, online at mainprovideo.com. And by Northeast Driving School, making a difference since 1969. And The Drive, your sports, your teams, your show. Weekdays, 4 to 6, on Sports Radio 92.9 The Ticket. The BDN Sports Game of the Week is a production of Sportsnet Maine.